Hello everybody. We are going to check the results of our bridge experts, of the players who cooperate with this site, writing articles and answering queries. And since most of them, not all of them, but most of them were playing at the same team in the recent South American online festival, this will make it easier for us to look at the swings mostly at the swings unless there is a particular board that one of them feels worthy of review we are going to look only at swings and this means that i will not focus on over tricks even though they may be very interesting but i think that big swings are more instructive and it's most of all looking at when I look at a small swing, such as this one here, two wimps, because one side stopped in three spades and the other side went to four spades, I will look at those also, meaning I will look at swings that were uh, a result of different contracts at the two tables. So we're looking at these boards here, board two, which gave 10 imps, board three, Board 8, board 6, 2 also, board 6, board 8, board 10, board 11, and board 12. So these are going to be the boards revealed in this video. Let's go to it. Board 2 here. So in the north seat for the Chagas team was the man himself, Gabriel Chagas, Bermuda Bowl winner playing with Rui Santos from Portugal, another good player, facing my brothers, José Roberto and Sérgio Brum. And at the other table, Diego Brenner and Miguel Villas Boas, both also contributors to the Bridge Experts website, facing Marcelo La Rovere, which is a, the youngest player of the eight, at this match, but experienced winner of international matches and championships also. Partnering Roberto Melo, also a Bermuda Bowl winner. So we have three world champions in this match. Roberto Melo has won the Bermuda Bowl along with Gabriel Chagas, and Diego Brenner has won the transnational teams. So let's look at what happened at this board to give the swing. The same contract was reached in both both tables, but from different sides. Is that correct? Yes. East on this on this table decided not to open. Considered his hand not worthy of an opening at first position, non vol versus vol. And this is mostly a matter of style, but I would say that most top players would open this. The style of opening bids has been steadily moving in the direction of weaker opening bids. But that said, this is a really bad hand with tight, queen jack tight and diamonds that may be worth little. So it's not, it's a matter of style, but it's not obviously an error to pass here. And so the final effect of passing was that the auction continued with west opening one diamond, north doubling, which is a normal double with 4-4 in the majors. These doubles are focused on the majors, so you don't have to, to have full support for the other minor. It's desirable, of course, but you can't win by passing. You, you have to take some risks. And so north doubled that, and then the auction began and continued. I would say to the expected location, even though this was supposed to be an invitational auction, I think that East Street Horses in, in mid auction decided to beat game. Perhaps considering that at the other table they would probably be in game. And so there they were. And before looking at the play, we can count the Clara's tricks. He has three spades, two hearts are five. Two diamonds are seven and two clubs are nine. 
but there are some communication problems. And the cloud doesn't know that diamonds are breaking, even though he may expect, given the option, that the club finesses is on site. So the lead was a nine of spades, giving nothing away. And Clara decided to win this in hand. Let's just follow the, the play without comments and then. Doesn't look like a good play winning at the hand. I think that the west hand has less entries than the east hand. Let's look at it. And he tried the club finesse. And then he switched to hearts. So what's happening here? He should now win in dummy. And even if he wins in dummy to unblock diamonds, there's no time left for him to unblock diamonds before the last entry to his hand is taken away. The heart was ducked. Club to the ace. That looks like a hasty or perhaps not well considered line of play. Because now the Clara is in a, I wouldn't say a hopeless position, but it's he's in a bad position because diamonds are still blocked. And he will need, he would need, yeah, he, he played right at this moment. He would need North to have the last club winner so that he could then play north to open up diamonds at the ending, but this was not how the cards were distributed. He was playing for this jack of clubs to be here and one more diamond. Let's change the jack of clubs with the four diamonds and then this play would work out well. Because north would cash the jack of clubs and the eight of spades and then play a diamond. But as it was, nothing like that happened. This was a fourth trick for the defense, and the fifth trick was the King of Diamonds. So let's see what happened on the other table. At the other table. East open a uh, weak no trump, surely. Yes, 12 to 14. And that simplified the auction, but gave away less of less information about the defense the defensive honors. What would be the lead from Mello. Probably that's a filthy hand to lead from, but probably the Jack of Spades, I would say. It's the most, he knows it, he knows, he hopes that partner has something like 13 to 14 points. And he's, it's a better bet to try to hit partner's length than to try to establish clubs. Yeah, there you go. And here we see the Clara unblocking diamonds before. The spade lead is, the, the spade entry is taken away. Oh, North ducked here. And that ends the problems for, for the Clara. If, now he just has to establish hearts. That's the second diamond trick that he needs. Yeah. Now the best that the defense could do was would be to switch to clubs, but the cleric can also always duck one club and he will be safe. If defense switch to clubs and then duck the heart, and the cleric did not duck a club, then he would lose entries to his hand. It's not an easy hand to play. It has to be timed well. Right now, I think North is hoping that partner has an entry because otherwise that partner has something like the nine of hearts. That would be enough. But even if he had the nine of hearts, perhaps North should have ducked the second heart honor anyway. Because North is probably well aware that Declare has all these honors, including gay queen of clubs, because the Clare has a filthy hand as it is already. Without the ace queen of clubs, he would be even filthier. So the Clare is now in command. He ducked this club to try to, if the spade, the the 
13 spade were in south, perhaps you would have some squeeze position against diamonds and clubs. But when, yes, when the last spade was presented, he claimed nine tricks. So this is the origin of the first swing, different lines of play in Trino Traps. Second swing, let's look at the results to see what happened here. One side ended in five diamonds down one and the other in Trino Traps. Okay, let's get back. South passed with a very distributional hand, non vol against vol. I will say that this is probably the origin of, of the swing. But let's let's verify that. Yeah. But let's look at the hand slowly. South pass is also, I would say, out of fashion in modern bridge at these colors in this position, in first position. I would suppose that most players would open two hearts or even three hearts at these colors. And so what happened was that he passed and West opened one diamond, which is absolutely clear to me. I, some people would be tempted to open two diamonds, but that is so wrong as to be classified as incorrect in my appraisal because the suit is really too bad and you have too many honors on the side it's not a preempt it's an opening bid one diamond and now north taking advantage of the vulnerability and of a past partner makes a jump over call in a very bad suit but that i would say is in in sync with modern bridge trends even though North, Gabriel Chagas, is a conservative player, but he's, he knows that jamming the opponent's auctions can give lots of benefits. East beats three spades, which is a game forcing. I would say, I, I would hope, I don't know how they play. I think it's weird that you can beat three spades and then stop on a diamond, four diamonds. But in, in theory, the Q bid is limit plus, but I would say that over a minor and when you bid above three of the minor, it's more sensible to play it game forcing. So East would be showing a game forcing diamond race. And South doubles three spades to show the spade honor, to show that he wishes a spade lead. And this spade lead, if you look at only the two hands in East West, six diamonds is a reasonable contract because you can pitch two spades on a club and a heart if you can draw trumps and, and escape a spade loser at the opening lead. But given how the spades are distributed, any slam, either six diamonds or six no trumps, must be played from East which is very hard to diagnose after this start, after two spades from north. And so when West bids over the double three no trumps, which is, I would say, well, it's, it's comfortable to show you a stopper, but perhaps with a minimum, he should wait for partner to do something. I don't know. This is, a, this is a, probably the moment of truth for this hand. And I would guess that East continued the bidding, hoping that West had a little bit more than what he actually had. This is something that they should discuss, whether this 3 no Trump shows more than a minimum, whether a minimum hand should pass, even with a spade stopper. But in any case, East reopened the auction over three no trumps. And then the four clubs, four diamonds, four spades denying a hard control. Five clubs showing a hard control, otherwise he would sign off in five diamonds now. Let me show, yeah. 
So four, five clubs confirms a hard control and is is used his last chance to stop the bidding. But as we saw in the traveler scores, five diamonds went down because for sure declare misguessed diamonds after this this bidding and it's understandable of course to suppose that after one diamond two spades three spades double that if one anyone has avoiding diamonds should be north south is the one with a, an unexpected distribution having passed in first hand so let's see how the play went oh north led a heart disobeying uh, partner's request but now he switched to spade yes and now the Clara has to guess diamonds if, and if he misguesses diamonds there's no escape because north roughs before two spades can be pitched he roughs when one spade is being pitched either the third heart or the third club and so the other winner cannot be cashed yeah Ace of Diamonds misguessing the Queen of Diamonds and the Glare is dead. He's trying to. Now he'll catch the Queen of Hearts most likely. Yeah. And that's it. And Three No Trumps is, of course, laid down easy and played from East. He always makes six unless south finds a miraculous lead of the small spade to the jack and a misguess of course so that's not even the stuff of books and so two hearts from south here is a two suitor it's a two suited opening yes confirming that i know how these guys play so south is showing at least five five hearts on a minor and less than an opening bid preempt which is a comfortable bid with this hand, but I would state confidently that this hand, even if you're not playing multi two diamonds and two suited two hearts into spades, that it would be open either as a weak two hearts or perhaps even three hearts by many, many good players at these colors. So that was a bit of a random swing in our favor favor of the bridge experts so let me close this past swings so that we can find easily what's going on next swing board six two imps against the bridge experts let's see what happened here east open one diamond uh, one no trap by south I would evaluate when Donald Trump is an overbid because you, your long suit having been bid, this hand becomes weaker than if you, there were no one diamond opening at your right. And you have only 14. So even if you consider that your 14 is well positioned because East has shown some high cards, I think that's a bit too much. I would. Uh, approve of one of Trump if you diamonds were a little bit better with a nine or ten but this hand I think it's too weak and when on diamond one of Trump two spades two no trumps from north is natural evidently and so they they are north is just trying to to compete over two spades there were no uh, there was no alert from north and this in online bridge means that this is not like a, a Lebensol misunderstanding it's not as if north was trying to use the Lebensol convention to ask Martin to be three clubs to show something it is just a natural competitive to no trumps over two spades and to no trumps went down as we've seen and let's look at the king of spades ducked queen of spades also ducked the card doesn't know spades are six two from the auction 
four of spades you must observe the four of spades indicating the most likely side entry which is in gloves right and east pitched the diamond on the third spade and this was not good for the defense obviously but it's not as if he had any easy options if he pitched a low club he would be pitching the last link with his partner's hand if he had pitched a heart then he would establish the heart suit with any entry so perhaps the only let's say sort of safe discard was the ace of clubs but that's really a flashy and most people wouldn't even think of it the ace of clubs would not lose a trick outright but then he played he discarded the diamond so the clara will make four diamonds yeah the clara should after cashing three diamonds and seeing these hard pitches, especially this one, he should have pitched clubs from, from the board and trying to get some extra hard tricks before yielding the last diamond. But as it was, now ace of clubs in the club, and that's over for the Clara with the last diamond being cashed. So the Clara made five, four diamonds, a club and an ace, and the ace of spades, which is two down. Closing up. The other table, a similar beginning. Mello and South also bid one of Trumps, and I already said what I think of it. But then North bid three hearts, and we, I don't know, let's see what is this two spades. It's natural. Okay and north overbid a little bit i suppose with three hearts and found a, a very nice hand opposite but even so four hearts is rather high you have to guess everything right to go to to have a chance so looking at the cards what should be what what would be the best strategy for the clara after winning this likely spade lead is to duck it and then try to he he has lots of things to do he has to draw two trumps to be able to make three diamond tricks because otherwise the west will rough and then the three diamond tricks discard two clubs from hand and rough a spade has to do all of that to have any chance of making this and also guess hearts if he has he can do all of that he will lose only one spade one heart and one club but even looking at all four hands it's hard to see how he can guess that he had to duck the first spade win the second play a diamond to the jack he, he hasn't got entries no way. Play a diamond to the jack, then a heart to the queen, and then east with the ace and plays another heart or a diamond or whatever. Then he cashes the king of hearts, guessing hearts. Then he cashes two diamonds discarding clubs and a diamond roughing in hand and a spade roughing in hand and a diamond roughing in hand. And the last trump drawing east third trump and then a club from from north. Well, oh, no wonder he didn't do all of that. He's trying to pitch spades. And then when West roughs, he pitches his last spade. And this is the first trick he lost, and he will also lose two clubs and one heart. Yeah, he, he guessed hearts correctly. Diamond roughed with a queen and a club to the king. And another diamond roughed with a seven. And now 
he'll make only one more trick. Jack and Ace of Clubs and Ace of Hearts. Okay. So this is the origin of this swing. Board eight. Let's look at the swing. Board eight. Three diamonds down one and two spades making. What's going on here? One spade, one no trumps, two diamonds, three diamonds. And I'll bet that at the other table is after sim a similar start is a bit too spade. And that's a, a well-deserved swing for our bridge experts because, well, first of all, two spades is a better contract than, than three diamonds. You can look at the cards. And raising with four in this auction is risky, not only because of the off chance that partner will have only three. That that was unlucky. But it's if you want to, to stop it at, at a part score, it's mm, rather likely, it's hard to quantify all those things, but it's quite likely that two spades being at a lower level would be better than three diamonds. Of course, the, the real problem is, do you want to invite or do you want to stop? And so at the other hand, I know that at the other table, Miguel and and, and Diego used Gazili, and that it didn't even come into play because West Pass in one in the in one no Trump, and that's a system problem. I mean, I don't know if these guys, my brothers, I don't know if they're allowed to pass. If it is what people call the semi-forcing no Trump, or if it is absolutely forcing. If you're going to play that 1-0 Trump is absolutely forcing, you should insert some strong hands there to take the maximum of this approach, maximum benefits of this approach. If you're just playing that 1-0 Trump is the standard like 5 to 11 or bad 12, then you should be able to pass with a weak hand as Diego Brenner did at the other table. And let's close it. What happened here is that North reopened, balanced over one of Trump's. East redoubled to show power, to show that he has a possibility of finding a penalty if West could double something. And when South beat two hearts and West passed, East has an easy two spades, having shown his maximum already, and so it stopped peacefully in two spades. And two spades made. Let's see if there was something that the defense could have done here. Uh, he will lose two spades, one heart, and he has a problem with diamonds. But even if he lose, even if he loses three diamonds, he will not lose anything else. Apparently, let's see how the play went. Heart ducked. A diamond, oh, a diamond. Diamond gave away the king of diamonds. So the defense made it easier for the Clara. And a club to the queen. Ace of hearts. Hot rough. King of spades. Ace of clubs. And a club. No, and a diamond. Doesn't make much of a difference. King of diamonds and a diamond. Now he's setting himself up for a spade promotion. He should have played just Ace of spades and spades. Doesn't make much of a difference. Yeah, it's the same thing. I forget about that last comment. <laughs> That's what it comes from commenting and recording at the same time. Okay. Next board, next swing. One no trumps, six no trumps. An exciting auction. East had 15 and the singleton king of clubs. And West has 17. So it's 32. And some hope that there would be a fit, but of course, the clubs that were the main hope for West as a source of tricks were 5-1. Five, five, Let's count the Clara's tricks if he he has to guess spades, of course. And he will probably do that because he'll see that hearts, he can test hearts early and see the hearts are 6-0, so 
speeds are much more likely to be long in north than in south. And so he'll make, let's suppose, a neutral read, clubs or diamonds. He'll make three clubs, two diamonds is five, four hearts is nine, and three spades is twelve. So thanks to the intermediates, the ten of spades and the ten of hearts, this is a lay down, this lap. And even after a hard lead, it came even north pitch the spade, not that it helped. The diamond a diamond, and there's your spades at some point. The is setting up a squeeze, if there is any squeeze. See this card and jack of spades, and now after the ace of spades, it has a claim. Okay, what happened at the other table? A more complicated auction that stopped low. One diamond, two clubs, artificial, two no trumps, either a strong balanced hand or a three suited short in clubs. That means bad news for this hand. Three clubs asks, three diamonds, it, it's the three suitor. Three hearts asks for strength. Three no trumps is not minimum, but not huge, because these are stepped responses. Yeah, 15 to 17. And now, Diego knows that the hand is right. At 32 to 34. And he made a quantitative invitation. And he's decided to stop since he had the bottom of this of his range. It's a tough hand for them because they were able to diagnose that the misfit in clubs, unlike at the other table, who just bashed the slam. But the hands fit well, they're not a jack wasted. So it's I have sympathy for our guys here. Okay, only two boards left. One is four clubs doubled on one table and six spades is going down one. Let's see what's going on here. One no trump by south, pass two clubs, four clubs, double, and all passed. That was a huge pass by north. Very trusting of partner. And four clubs will lose one diamond. The nine of clubs will rough the fourth diamond, so he'll lose three clubs, one diamond, and he'll go three down, okay? Three clubs and one in each suit. So there's nothing to be learned from the play here, but that this pass from north should be uh, commended. As the cards are, this was a very nice pass. At the other table, one club because they play 16 to 18 no trumps. This is a, one of the holdouts in the world that don't play 15 to 17 if they're playing strong no trumps. And so we be only three clubs, not four clubs. But West supported three clubs over the double, and North could not. I mean, the partner had. Double three clubs, probably a support, a support double. But then North was too excited to stop lower than slam. And the huge duplication of values in clubs was the killing point of the slam. Again, there's nothing to be learned from the play here. Only the difference in judgment and well done North at the other table. And the final swing, which was four spades and three spades. Let's see if we can learn something here. One spade, two diamonds, two spades from east, pass four spades. I would say I. it's again a matter of style analyzing these auctions. I am a big fan of raising. I say that to all my partners, support with support. But perhaps this East Hand is really too bad with honors and all suits except Trumps and the dreadful 4-3-3-3 distribution. 
So perhaps this should pass. Let's see what happened at the other table. But that's the first comment. Perhaps it should pass. And it's not having passed. When south passes, west can be fairly confident that these three small diamonds are not opposite sharpness. Fairly confident. Not sure, but fairly confident. And so northwest should also only invite with 17. 5332, when your partner raise, raises, is almost as bad as 4333 for a raise. It's not a big holding. So let's see what happened at the other table. East did support too. I, in favor of the raise found by both Easts is the vulnerability. Makes it safer to be non vol of vol. But I can't help but have misgivings about this raise. And I, I am a very forward raiser, but 4333 really creeps me out. And what happened here is that West evaluated better his hand as an invitation. And of course, this has nothing to do with any invitation. He wants to crawl under the table <laughs> when the partner is inviting him to game. And so this is the end of this first video. To recap, we have uh, analyze the big swings in the first match of our team with the bridge experts, most of our collaborators at the site. I plan to do videos like this for all rounds, including the final rounds in the tournament. And I hope you enjoy it. I hope this will be instructive for most people. And any comments, any suggestions, just contact us via the the Facebook page or our website. The, the website is uh, www.thebridgeexperts.com and look at us at Facebook with the same handle. Take care.